I'm trans and I have a knife. Yeah! I didn't think I would get this far. No one. Oh my <laughs> That is actually on fire. Oh my <laughs> How's it going, guys? Guys, maybe pals. I'm Alison Wonderwin, your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and today I'm here in my garage with my Lamborghini. And I'm hungry. Now you see, normally that wouldn't be an issue because I have an entire team of paid employees catered to cooking for me. But unfortunately this morning they all revolted and formed a union. Now of course I am in the process of busting said union, but in the meantime I need food and the only staff member I have is my camera holding loser off of eBay. Don't mind these. I have recently been struggling with repetitive strain injury and my doctor prescribed me these funky little mittens to stop me from using my hands. That being said, I'm not one to listen to medical trained professionals, and so I get all of my information off of Facebook. Today, we're going to be cooking. Why don't we head upstairs and take a look at the kitchen? Now, of course, on tonight's menu is a variety of my favorite foods, but unfortunately, we have, of course, failed to locate the required ingredients for my favorite recipe, which is, of course, thick fan with ice. Instead, we're going to make do. Before we get started with anything like that, though, we need to make a quick trip to the supermarket and buy some goods. Three Michelin star cooking supplies on the way. Oh, God. I really want to get a potato, but someone over there. That woman must vacate the potatoes. Waiting. Coming good. Uh, it's my favorite cheese. People are gonna wonder why I've got meat and meat killer in my basket yeah. and a single potato. We're gonna get some We don't actually need these, but I just like the color. You want to play? Shut the f up. Banana I think I'm lost. These fucking windows, they actually work. I am not used to this. We've got our groceries. Today, we're going to start with what I believe to be the base of the food pyramid, and that is, of course, jelly. so that you can read it. Jelly! I specifically got yellow because it looks like piss. What do we need to make jelly a reality? First off, we need to boil some water. This is probably where I'm going to sustain third degree burns. Jug. Fill it with water. One completed. Step two, open the jelly. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. You've got my little claws. Oh. 
got it, I've almost got it. Okay, now what? Things I have to do to survive, honestly. Uh, no. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. I'm gonna have to use my teeth a lot on this video, won't I? Stop fapping! I can hear it over the internet. Teeth is the easiest way. Teeth is really the only way. I'll be honest, I didn't think I would get this far. I think that'll be sufficient to pour out the jelly. Boil, you bitch! Receptacle for the jelly. Oh my god. It's a Pyrex joke. So theoretically, if I broke it, it probably wouldn't shatter. Must be extra careful with glass. Okay. And I'm going to need to be even more careful with this because this actually does have the potential to seriously hurt someone. Okay. <laughs> I need 500 mils of jelly. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop this. Intense concentration. Oh, I'm good. Yeah! You seen that? Time has come. Oh yeah, look at that. That tell me that that is not piss colored. That's piss colored right there. Oh, it's a little bit like... mm -hmm. that one was disaster, disaster. Okay. Yes. okay, I need I need a fork. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it smells like piss. This is how you do it, ladies and gentle people. This is how you make jelly that is the same color of my pants. Piss. Because I just piss my pants. And basically the trick is now, 500 mils of boiling water. Then you slowly add in jelly. And then you stir it. It's really quite a simple recipe and I think that's brilliant because this really is the building block of, you know, human life. You can't... Get a close up on this hair and you'll see all of the sediment still on the bottom that I'm really struggling to get rid of. It has, all of the sugar has congealed on the bottom. All things considered, this is going surprisingly well.
I think that right there is one up. Jelly extraordinaire, Alice in Wonder One Hand at work. Now I need a I need another receptacle for the jelly. I need a bowl. Carefully does it. We're gonna get two jellies because of course I'm a benevolent leader and I am making enough for both myself and for my employee here. This is my bowl. This is Chloe's bowl. And obviously we're both going to have the same amount of jelly because that's how it works in their society. So this is my bowl. This is Chloe's. And I think we're just about done. Brilliant. Do I trust myself? <laughs> now of course, the remainder of this is actual piss. So, as with all jelly, it needs to become as cold as my heart. So, we're going to put them in the fridge. Now, this one's a little, got a little bit less liquid in it than the last one, so this should be a little bit easier and hopefully I won't spill it. And just like that, jelly made. Now, we'll basically just leave that in the fridge for six hours. Time for the next recipe. The main course for today is going to be a pizza and a vegetable, just like mama used to make. We've got our ingredients here. This is dough that I prepared earlier. First thing we've got to do is get this bacon. As we know, I'm a cat and cats love bacon. We need to open this somehow. Never mind. Teeth. Okay. You will surrender to my tongue, bacony goodness. This is like doing surgery. Oh, great. <gasps> I've almost got it. Oh, I'm do this. Uh. <laughs> I can't. I don't have access to my sheet. <laughs> my sheet. <laughs> Why is my sheet inaccessible? <laughs> I got it open. Mom. <coughs> Maybe I'll have more success with this. I'm making progress. <laughs> I never thought it would be so hard to cut up my buttery nut. Does this look accessible to my little paws? Thank you! <laughs> that is a wet sound. Uh. <laughs> yeah, woo! Here we go. We're making progress now. Oh no. 
Oh yeah. This is hard work. I'm actually out of bread. Do you think that's enough for, a, for one pizza? It's upside down. Now I think it's time to cut up the rest of the vegetables. I'm trans and I have a knife. <laughs> this is the latest advancement in prosthetic technology. My nuts just gone all over the kitchen countertop. I've almost got it! Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about! It's really surprising me what I can and can't do. <laughs> so, of course, th th these aren't actually for the pizza, but we are making chips tonight. General rule of thumb with cooking, now that you've got your potatoes all chopped up nice and even, you generally, this is when you want to, um, you know, put seasoning on them, get them ready for being baked, and put uh, salt and pepper on them, all sorts of other spices. I'm not going to do any of that, I'm just going to chuck them straight in an air fryer. But first I think I need to finish cutting up my, my nut. This one is much harder and tougher nut to crack than the potato was. So we're making good progress, we're just about ready to start making our pizza and I have actually got my vegetables cut up, aside from this, can we take this off now, <laughs> I'm, I'm done with the knife. You, you f***ing piece of sh**, it took me 30 minutes to cut this in half. It's time I unleash my nut on the world. This is what happens when you disobey me. There we go. That is actually the perfect size nut. And my nut, my nut is filled all over the pavement, but this is the perfect size for cooking. I think at this point in cooking, what every well-respected chef needs is a good old drink.
hobgoblin. Ah, oh, it tastes like sh Here we are, so we've made some progress. We've got our vegetables, they're all cut up, they're all looking quite symmetrical. We've got our bacon, it's all it's all chopped up. We're pretty much ready to put all of all of this in the frying pan. So we, I'm gonna go ahead and now we're cooking with fire. What I'm gonna do now, if my lovely Chloe will come around here, I'm going to turn on the hob. I'm going to find some olive oil and I'm going to prepare to cook things. Okay. Now, it's not the first time I've had a bit of lube between my legs. dab of olive oil, turn the pan around, just make sure that we cover all of the pan. I think I might need more olive oil. That doesn't look enough for olive oil. It's non-stick, you don't need any. Moving on. Obviously, I'm also gonna put my nut in the pan. Sometimes duty calls. Sometimes you just need alcohol to deal with this level of sheer bullshit. Okay. Do my bidding. Sometimes in order to be a good chef, you need to delegate. Because you see, I know that my lovely camera holding loser off eBay is actually not qualified to do cooking stuff. But I am. Sometimes I let her do the easy stuff. Don't eat the fucking olive oil pan. Wait. So, oh, the next move, I don't know if you <laughs> is to uh, just, you know, dice them around the pan. They've got a nice little bit of seasoning. And you just want to flip them over and just sort of make sure that you're cooking both sides. Specifically of the butternut, trust me, you do not want an unevenly cooked nut. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Chef's kiss, right there. So we can leave that simmer in there for a while. I'm just gonna kiss the beans. They're getting nicely seared. How am I gonna do this? So we're gonna, basically we're gonna put the bacon on to, no, onto the pan. Yeah, there we go. We're just kind of going to make sure that that's cooked evenly on all sides. Same with this lot. You want the baking to be brown and that's when you take it out. Then we'll chop it up and put it on the pizza. Welcome to the Alice Wonder 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 Halftime Show. I'm your host, Game Show Alice, and today we're going to be playing a godforsaken game of I Spy with my particularly little eye. <laughs> I'm sure you know how to play this game. Unless you've never been on a road trip, you chump. Let's get started. I Spy with my particularly little eye. Something beginning with I. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to figure it out. What did you guess? Did you get it? If you guessed imbecile, banned. You're banned from my channel. If you guessed Indonesia, you are terribly mistaken. There is no Indonesia on this map. However, if you chose Insignia, congratulations, you just won the halftime show. What do you think of our new insignia? In fact, what do you think of all of the new decorations in my recording space slash bedroom? I think they look awesome. I am so happy with them, honestly. I even think they would make quite cool merch designs. So, let me know if you would be interested in merch of the insignia and wings. Maybe I'll think about it. But in the meantime, it's time to pull up our ranks and line them up in rows and say thank you to all of our officers. My lieutenants and captains will be going up here. A special thank you to all of our higher ranking officers. For our colonels, Shadow Queen Maeve, Tissy, Silly Christie, Imber, Kaylee, 
Herb Evans, Bunny Niori, Alice is a sub ubu. Someone made a fucking fan YouTube account called Alice is a sub. You went to all that fucking trouble? Why? Why? Oh my god! And thank you to Kelly the Human, and of course a huge thank you to our five star generals, the highest ranking officers in my army. Sarah's Flint, and third in line. Oh dear, my light just ran out of battery. We gotta evacuate right now! Thank you also to Maui Down and to Bob, colonels on Buy Me A Coffee. Gotta run! Alright, as you can see, our bacon is now cooked, and you know what that means. It's time to make the pizza! While we're doing that, I'm also going to put all of this stuff in the air fryer. So, pretty common thing to do. Everyone has an air fryer these days, and in fact, people bully you if you don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all of these delicious pieces of potato just straight in, into the air fryer. Ooh, that bacon is smelling good. I can't wait to eat this. Straight back in there. <clears throat> I need some help here. Again, just as per usual, I let my uh, I let my assistant here. Sometimes I let her do the easy jobs. Um, it's good. I did also just pick, get a pumpkin seed, but the pumpkin seed is cooked. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. We'll try we'll try the pumpkin and the potato later. But for now, it is time to make the pizza. This is a how-to. You can follow this at home. I generally wouldn't recommend that you do this with mittens on though. These are obviously, of course, I'll say this again, they are prescription mittens to help me deal with my RSI. Get some baking paper out. And... Then we go ahead and grab our dough. Just like yay. Now, if you've had a cat, you'll know what's gonna come. I'm gonna make biscuits out of this pizza dough. And we're gonna slowly stretch this out until it makes a pizza base shape. That's kind of the plan. Oh, f um, And we're going to try and not <laughs> not drop it in the process. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like I'm beating my meat. All right, I think that's uh, I think that's a pretty good pizza shape right there. That'll do. There's a pumpkin seed on it and I can't get it off. That's fine. No one
we get to put bacon on the pizza now. So if you're following along at home, this is roughly when you would do this. Let's get all of that bacon on there. Fine, we can have a little bit of potato on the pizza. Next up, we're gonna put some salami on. Then a cheese, then salami. Cheese, then salami? No. Yeah. No, we're doing this right. A cheese, then salami. Cheese is the top. You know what? Life's too short for this. Sh Darling, do you think maybe you cut the soft top of plastic? An astute observation. Obviously, I had already thought of that. <sighs> My tonguing skills are not strong enough. Luckily, with lots of teeth, I can make it work. Oh no. The loop. And obviously we want to spread this out on the pizza. There we go, spread out all over the pizza nice and even. That's how you should do this if you're doing it at home. Um, next up, we're gonna take a big swig of beer because I can't live with myself without alcohol. Then we do the cheese. It's a bit of hair in the mouth. Okay, how are we gonna do this? So, if you're struggling with this at home, if you can't get your cheese open, give up. Fuck it. Go home, try again tomorrow. More alternatively, you could get your camera holding loser off of eBay to do it. As you can see, I have now got the cheese open without any help from anyone. This was entirely me, I just had to do it off the camera with my tongue. That's <coughs> still not open. Brilliant. Cheese time! Now you want to get the cheese nice and even across the whole pizza and this is about when I would, as the chef, say Voila! Take, let's get a close-up here. Look at this. And actually, actually, this is perfection. This is exactly what you want in a pizza. We've got the base, we've got the sauce, we've got the bacon, we've got the salami, we've even got a surprise piece of potato. And we have cheese. Lots and lots of cheese. I think it's about time we put this in the oven. And I think you're going to be surprised when it comes out because I think this is going to look awesome. It's important when you're working in the kitchen to keep your workstation clear. As that weird French lady once said in Ratatouille, keep your station clear or I will kill you! Brilliant. Ah. My croc and bouche is done. Oh yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. Is that not perfection? <laughs> it's hot. Okay, you know what? Let's come back to this in five minutes. You're gonna need a hand with this. I'm not so good. Huh? I reckon I got this. My magic trick.
pizza into the oven. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that and I'm going to get my camera holding loser off of eBay to do it for me. Okay, you know it. Perfection. Just like that and all by myself too. And in approximately 15 minutes, that's going to come out and it's going to look beautiful. Where was that thing? Oh, it's on the floor. Oh, come over. Oh, wait, what? My air fried potato. Oh, God. My second son! Why? I've got to put it out of its misery. Sometimes, sometimes dead is better. My third son. <laughs> Delicious. Thumbs up. <laughs> In memory of all of the potatoes that we lost today. Now let's go watch Internet Historian. Try some pizza. <sighs> All right, it is cooked perfectly. Look at that. I'm honestly, I must say, I'm quite proud of myself. I think, I think I've done quite a good. No, no, no. I think I've done quite a good job of this. This is a textbook pizza, entirely made with my hands in bondage mittens. What do we think? Isn't that amazing? I truly am one of the ships of all time. It's time. To have a taste? Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, what's that? Look, perfectly cut up. I actually think I'm getting quite good at using these mittens. Get that nice, perfectly even. Ah, well, now it is the moment you have all been waiting for. It is time to eat our food. To test this magnificent creation that it took me, admittedly, three hours to make. I'm really excited. Let's see, what the hell's it gonna be like? That is so fucking good! Damn, I am fucking sexy. Look at me. I am pretty, I'm tall, and I can cook. Boom! Brilliant. Now. I think we need to try the vegetables. <coughs> oh, good. What's that? <coughs> Delicious. What about the nut? <laughs> Classic. I'm about to get some nut in me. Um, I think this was a success. 
let's go sit down, chill out, and eat some pizza. Damn, I'm good. Ah, that was a delicious meal. I think it's time for dessert. Peon, get me some whipped cream.